Einstein and Hawking discuss the cosmos. Hey, everyone! Welcome back to Thrive Verse. Today, we have an incredible theoretical conversation for you. My favorite equation. Always a crowd pleaser. It is an honor to finally meet you, Professor Einstein, though this encounter defies the laws of physics. Extraordinary. Professor Hawking, I am quite familiar with your work exploring black holes and quantum theory. It is an honor to make your acquaintance after admiring your work for so many years. The honor is mine, Professor Einstein. Your contributions to physics ignited my passion for understanding the universe. Your theory of general relativity completely transformed our comprehension of gravity, space and time. You flatter me too much. And please, Albert is fine. Our own work has pushed the boundaries of theoretical physics to places I never imagined possible. Unifying quantum mechanics and general relativity remains the supreme challenge. True, though we have made progress. Finding a theory of everything still eludes us. Albert, in your day you faced skepticism for proposing radical ideas that challenged the status quo. Did you have any inkling your relativity theories would reshape scientific consensus? I simply followed my own curiosity and intuition. Though it was quite controversial, I felt general relativity was beautiful in its consistency. Over time, the evidence bore out. But paradigm shifts are never easy, are they Stephen? Your revelations on black holes faced much resistance initially. Indeed. Yet our work as physicists is to observe the universe as it is, not as others wish it to be. What puzzles me is how a man of science like yourself could maintain such strong faith in God. I see science and spirituality as complementary, not opposed. The order, beauty and comprehension in the universe implies a divine logic behind it all. But we must continue questioning. As we unravel nature's mysteries, we draw nearer to understanding our purpose. Black holes, now there's a subject that has fascinated both of us, hasn't it? But you see, that's where I come in. Not only do they exist, but they also radiate, hawking radiation, as it's modestly called. Modestly, indeed. So, you're telling me these cosmic vacuums are not so vacuous after all? Correct. They emit particles and can eventually evaporate completely. A rather hot topic in astrophysics, I must say. Now, what are your thoughts on time travel? My theory of general relativity does allow for the possibility of warping space-time, after all. Oh, I've always been a fan of time travel, in theory at least. But if time travel exists, where are all the tourists from the future? Ah, perhaps they are among us. But obeying some cosmic law of observational discretion. They are, let's say, the introverts of the future. Or maybe they've just seen our internet tweets and decided to pass. The ultimate question, what do you think is the meaning of life? 42. Ha ha, a fine, hitchhiker's guide reference. But in all seriousness, what do you think? Our goal is simple, to understand the universe and our place in it. Isn't that the most worthwhile endeavor? I couldn't agree more. 
Understanding is the true joy and the true meaning, I believe. Well Stephen, though our time today is not bound by the laws of physics, it seems we are out of it, nevertheless. Indeed Albert. This has been a most stimulating theoretical conversation. It was a privilege to share perspectives with you on topics close to our hearts. Time, space, black holes. And don't forget the enduring quest for truth. To understand the deep mysteries of the universe and our place within it. Yes, you state it well. The human longing to comprehend the cosmos is universal and eternal. Each answer only reveals further questions. More mysteries to unravel. It is an infinite journey that future generations will continue. Where will it lead? I don't know, but the imagination kindles at the possibilities. Perhaps one day we will grasp the mind of God through science. Or find an even greater truth we cannot yet fathom. Either way, the adventure ahead is full of wonders. Thank you for an illuminating glimpse, if only imagined. The pleasure was mine. Let us hope our theorems and thought experiments echo into a future where all is understood. Until that day comes, we must keep questioning, keep seeking, keep pondering. Indeed, my friend. The quest continues. Wow! Wasn't that amazing, folks? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more thought-provoking discussions on Thriveverse. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and until next time, thrive on. Note this is a theoretical conversation for our entertainment while we learn.